Hi, how is everyone today? I thought today, because of circumstances in our reality, I would make a video. This is not like any video I've ever made before. So the first thing I'm going to do is say we're going to play a game. And it's going to be for entertainment purposes only. You understand that? So we'll learn how to read between the lines. And the game that we're going to play is Clue. Who done it? And why was it done? And how was it done? So we're going to play the traditional game of Clue. But in this game, we're going to have some characters. So I wrote down a few little footnotes. Our first characters are going to be the three little pigs. And they're quite something. There is a Papa Pig. We can call him Daddy. His name is actually Puff. So you put that together. And he has two little piglets. Instead of brothers, they're his children. And these little pigs are black. <laughs> they're the cutest little black pigs. But pigs, nonetheless, they are. So we're playing our, ga our game Clue. And there's another character in there. They're called the Fire Brigade Institute. You can call them shortly the FBI. But they're the Fire Brigade Brigade Institute. They're a part of this too. And then we have another player and it's called the Deep Sinkhole. So, and there's a huge thing in there called, uh, it's a big black rock that's in this big sinkhole. And you can call that AI. They're playing too. So, where shall this game begin? Let's pick a place. Um, I know. How about Baltimore, Maryland? And the game is who done it? Let's say that there's an object in Baltimore, Maryland. We can call it the Francis Scott Key Bridge. What's going on there? Let's play the game of who done it. <laughs> so, Several weeks ago, the three little pigs were really, really bad. The main pig, the daddy pig, Puff is his name, Puff Daddy Pig, the black Puff Daddy Pig, was running some really terrible things. He was getting all these little lambs underneath all of these places, and he was trafficking the lambs. He would steal the lambs from all the lands and then traffic them because... Um, he was quite the pig. Well, along came the sheriff. <laughs> and what do the three little pigs have? They have three little houses. And then you have to find out where the three little houses are. And this nefarious of the lambs capturing them and sending them to all kinds of terrible escapades. They were little baby lambs, most of them. They were being trafficked. So then a big stink came down with the whodunit game. And we'll set the scene a little bit so we can look at the big whodunit with the bridge. So all of a sudden, the two little piglets, the two little black piglets, uh, got caught stealing the lambs. <laughs> and <clears throat> I guess they were incarcerated in the three little houses because the big bad wolf came and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses down. <laughs> so then now let's go to the clue game. It wasn't Colonel Mustard in the library with a rope that did the killing. But let's find out who did the killing. So basically, let's look at the instrument of destruction. There were actually two instruments of destruction. One was a barge, and the barge was run by AI. And the AI could be overtaken because there wasn't a captain actually helming the bridge. So then we have to look, what can we do for a distraction? Because the Fire Brigade Institute had to come in and make a big distraction because of the three little pigs. And of course, the daddy, <clears throat> who was running terrible things for money, all of it's for money, trafficking, the little lambs. 
So a, a little plan was whipped up quick because this happened quick. It wasn't like it always is in a game where you pre-plan everything. No, this was quickly done within a couple of weeks. We need a diversion for the three little pigs. So we're gonna go into the game of Clue. I'm gonna get a barge that was in another incident in Antwerpen, <laughs> Belgium, and we need some money. So we're gonna take the barge and we're gonna try to make it look like there was an accident so we can not only make the diversion for the three little pigs, but we can also get some money out of this. And we'll all split this money. And we'll put out some cover stories ahead of time that this barge crashed into something, blew up and then sank, and then we get our money, Titanic. It reminds me of the other game that was played called the Twin Towers because it's the same dealy schmealy. So basically, on this bridge, we'll look at the bridge first, and then we'll go back and look at the boat, or the barge. <laughs> we had a crew of men who were supposedly working, who were working on the road, but we had some newcomers coming into the bridge, and their specialty was pyroplastics. And so they entered into the crew and they were supposed to be doing their own little thing like surveying or doing something. And they just kind of disappeared and wasn't looked at and we'll just add them to the group. And they set the bridge with pyroplastics at its points where it was constructed, its construction points. So <clears throat> this was done to ensure that the stories that were gonna be put out already would come into fruition, except that's not how it went now, was it? <laughs> so here's the thing. The fire brigade institution put its men on the bridge and they were gonna, instead of stop a fire, create a fire with their little pyroplastics, except that the fire brigade men that went to do this didn't realize they were also going to be dealt with because that is also remote controlled for demolition. Oh yeah, double cross. So let's go back and look at the barge. So the bridge is all set up, ready to go, boom. And now we just need the instrument of implication, the weapon. What was the weapon? First, it's the pyroplastics on the bridge, but we need to have an initial weapon to make it look like this was never a part of it. So. We're going to get this barge that is run by AI. We're going to control it from a distance and we're going to get this thing to rev up, slam into this thing and then blow up the bridge. But here's the little niggle. There was somebody on the ship and the boat was running or the ship, or the barge was running out of control and they did everything they could to turn it on because it was turned off. And when it was turned off, the people that were controlling the fire brigade institution who were controlling this from the dark ones, um, let the anchor go. And so the barge was just gonna run straight even if it lost electricity. It was never gonna hit that pylon because the pylon's over here. So Pirates of the Caribbean. What did they do in one of those Pirate of the Caribbeans? Because it hit me as soon as I saw this. Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's see. The bad guys were after, the, after them. They needed to get to the shoals quickly because they could never outrun the bad guys. So what happened? They threw the anchor out. What happens when you throw an anchor out on something you can't control? At that point, depending on where you throw the anchor out, you can control the direction it's going into. Yes, you throw an anchor out, you can make it go left or right, just like the Pirates of the Caribbean. And it swung them almost a 180, a 180. So they make sure they hit that pylon because that's what took the bridge down, don't you know? We don't look at the pyroplastics, we look at this scene. So basically, take over the barge, throw out the anchor, get it to be the catalyst. Meanwhile, get your fire brigade men up there, set it up like the Twin Towers. <laughs> a 
you already have a pre-story that leaked out because you didn't catch all of them. So then there's pre-stories of how this barge slammed into there, blew up, caught on fire, sunk. You need to get all of the treasure from the insurance company. And you're covering Pig Daddy <laughs> because you need to change the scenario in this reality. And here's the thing. Why the Francis Scott Key Bridge? One. What time was this? 1.30 in the morning, roughly? Not a lot of people going over the bridge. Oh, and they were also warned by the barge that they had lost control so they could mark off the bridge so that not too many people would be killed. Because in this new reality, in this new ascension, every life you take will wear down on you. In other words, the karma's coming fast, baby. So you needed to make sure you didn't kill anyone let alone a single person, but you did. In this game of who done it in our clue, board of Baltimore, Maryland, you killed people. You weren't allowed to, but you did because you couldn't catch them all. You knew there was going to be a chance of this. And this is why I'm playing the game of clue today on the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, of what happened because people did die. Yeah, even killed your own. Just know now, anybody who does a dirty deed, you are equally going to be a part of the massacre. And this is a prime example of it. So when you're getting your paycheck, you're never gonna live to spend it in this game for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> this is what happens with the Ascension. When things happen and humanity is waking up and realizing what's going on within less than 24 hours within less than less than 24 hours the entire gig is up now let's look at the rest of the gig this fire brigade institution is connected to what oh i don't know the federalists why did the federalists come in and say out of the blue we're going to take care of the bridge we're going to take care of all of it we're going to Rebuild it at our own expense, which is the taxpayer's expense. Well, since we're talking about fairy tales, I would say that's the wolf guarding the chicken coop. If I didn't want anyone to know that there were explosives in that bridge, I'm going to make sure I'm the cleanup crew and I'm going to make sure all the evidence disappears. Yes. Yes, and I will make the investigation go the way I want to because I'm controlling it because I'm the what deep state <laughs> in my game of clue of who done it. So where was the crime committed? It wasn't in the library. It was in Baltimore, Maryland. Where was it done? It was done at the Key Bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. What was the weapons? Well, pyroplastics and the barge. Now, what's the next thing you're going to ask about Clue? Why was it done? It was done for the three little pigs. It was done for the insurance. It was done for these purposes. And don't forget, when we take down this port, this was a terminal for many places in the port. The port of Baltimore has nine terminals. What does it affect economically? Let me see. Food, automobiles, goods of every make and model. There we go. We can kill all these little birds with a single stone. Start thinking out of the box. Why is the mafia media in our board game only showing you impact? They don't show you before. Why was it done so early? Think about all of this. Start thinking out of the box. What is this really about? Every time there's a big event, it's always being produced. Let's think of Katrina. Let's think of the Twin Towers. Let's think of Maui. Let's think of Acapulco. Let's think of Palestine. Let's think of Afghanistan. Let's think of, and it can go on and on and on. Time to wake up. Time to look at the facts. Time to look wherever they have you looking, look elsewhere. Because that's how the game is played in Clue. You want to win Clue? 
Don't pinpoint to what they want you to look at. Bernadette was very clever this morning when she said, they're the magician. They're doing all this here, so you can't see what they're doing here. They are the tarot card magician. Here, look here, look here, look here, as I pick your pocket. Look here, look here, look here, as I pick your pocket. <laughs> and there it is. So remember on April the 8th, I will be doing a video with Chris Anatra on my channel and his channel, which is the, uh, the Quantum Man. <laughs> well, we'll be hooking up so you'll know. And um, think about what I'm saying. Look outside of the box. Look at everything. Scrutinize it. Stand back, far, far back to see the bigger picture. Educate yourself. Our trinity is opening and aligning. And I can't wait to talk about these subjects. What I'm doing here, every single human being is walking into this new thing that's happening to us, the ascension. Okay. And I'll be talking about that ascension on April the 8th. At, I think we're going to start at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Chris Anatra on Quantum Businessman. <laughs> okay. See you then. Have a great day. Food for thought. Was it a fun game? I think it was. I love playing Clue. I believe I shall start playing Clue more often. Why not? All right. Bye.